Hey guys, John here from Wild Scooter Parts. I wanted to tell you about a common question we have about E100 electrical kits. We sell a lot. I think we probably sell more than anybody um, with the electrical kits for the Razor scooters. Um, a common issue we have is people get our electrical kit, um, which is genuine Razor parts. We're, we're an authorized Razor dealer. Um, and they'll put it on the E100, they'll hit the throttle, and they'll just hear a click. And they have no idea why it's just making a click. It's not going, they think it's defective, and they send it back to us. That is not defective. In order for the wheel to, to power to go to the wheel on the E100, you actually have to kick off and move. If you just uh, pick an E100 up off the ground and hit the throttle, nothing will happen. You have to actually get on the scooter and kick and get moving a little bit and then hit the throttle, and then it'll go. It, the video shows that we actually get a motor and we're going to spin it up and show you how that works, also how the brake switch works. So check it out. James from Wild Scooter Parts. Going to show you a couple nuances about the E100 electrical kits that trip some people up. They kind of end up thinking that it's bad. Um, the big thing is these controllers will not give power to the motor unless your scooter is al already rolling. So you can't just plug it in the E100 and twist the throttle and expect to see it to go. Um, what's going to happen? You'll hear a click like that. That's perfectly normal. That's just a relay inside, clicking, turning on power. It's kind of a safety thing that the controller is completely off until you turn the throttle. Um, there's another nuance about it, and that is the brake switch. The brake switch on the E100 works a little bit backwards from a normal brake switch in that it's normally closed, and closed means that it can go. So if you don't plug your brake in, you have to do something like what I did here, and use a paper clip to make that connection. Okay, so those are the two nuances. So we're gonna show you what's happening right here that might trip some people up. We have just a uh, motor we use for testing sitting here. It's actually an E300 motor. Um, right now, if I try to turn the throttle, all I get is that click. Here. Now, if you were to remove the brake thing, the brake wire, you'd actually you, still get the click. You still get a click, but it's it won't. But the work. motor won't it even won't spin, run. regardless. Okay, so we get nothing here. No spinning on the motor, James. Okay. Hit it. Hit it again. Nothing. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, a little bit of a ghetto method here, but uh, <laughs> we have our uh, the little uh, Razor E300 that Michelle West Coast rides around here at the shop. Um, we're just gonna put the motor against the wheel to simulate. You know, get the motor spinning to simulate uh, if you were out there and you pushed it to go and started rolling. And you'll see as soon as it starts spinning, it will be able to, um, the motor will start working. And James is going to hit the throttle. Now at this speed, James hit the throttle. Nothing. They won't. James hit the throttle, we get no power. You actually have to spin it pretty quick. So I'm going to get it going pretty quick here. There it goes. See? See that? And, and, and it didn't even... It took that much. James even thought that we didn't do it. But now it's running fine. He's holding the throttle. The motor As is uh, is running. You can see right there. And he's holding the throttle. And when he lets go of the throttle, the motor is going to stop. If he hits the throttle again, it won't run. It doesn't run until the motor spins, which is why you have to uh, get on the scooter and actually push, kick to move. And that's how the E100 is designed to operate. Well, there we go. And that's it. So uh, if you think your controller or your, your uh, system is bad, you make sure you have those two wires connected. Uh, we're just using a paper clip, but you could just splice the two together or however you want to do it. They really should be hooked to the brake. Um, and make sure you spin it like we did, very fast. We'll or be testing all of these E100 kits this way before we ship them out. Yeah, everyone's going to be tested. So uh, when you get one from us, you know it'll be good and it'll be working.